One of the coolest things about USB type C is the ability to power external displays. Not only that, we can now have portable displays. Today, we're gonna to take a look at the HP Elite Display S14, a new portable screen that you can take along with your Surface Go. Stay tuned. All right, before we get started, let's answer a few questions. So last year we reviewed the Asus Zen screen. It was a 15.6 inch portable display. It was really kind of cool, mostly because they were one of the first major companies to have one on the market. Now HP is back here, but theirs is a 14 inch, and I actually like it a lot better for those who travel. After all, 14 inch is a little bit smaller and easier to manage. The same weighs 2.2 pounds, about one kilogram. It's 1920 by 1080 resolution with a 60 hertz refresh rate. It has a bunch of abilities there for brightness and color contrast. More importantly, unlike the Zen screen, this is a all matte and anti-glare display. So for those of you who work on productivity and like to look at documents all day, well, this will be a lot easier on the eyes. It's a good thing to contrast with something the Surface Go, which is a little bit glossy. Also, something like the Surface Go obviously has a very small screen, so 10 inches versus 14 here, and it just works well. Now, if you're curious about USB Type-C and how this works, yeah, this is a single cable that connects between the display and the Surface Go, or any laptop out there like the MateBook X Pro or Surface Book 2 that has a Type-C port. With that single cable, it powers both the display and allows the signal to travel through it, so that's all you need. You don't need an external power connector for the display. That's really the attraction here. You can just connect this up to the Surface Go on the fly. Okay, taking a closer look here, there's not a whole lot going on. It does come with a folio cover. It's one-sided and magnetic, so it does not fall off whatsoever. This is also used as the kickstand. So again, this is sort of like the Zen screen, but this is actually better built, in my opinion. This is way more sturdy. Part of it's because they have this large hinge at the bottom that acts as a base and sort of it gives a little bit more support. Turning to the side of the device, you can see HP's signature design here, which I really like. They have now these angled corners that come in. This reminds me very much of the Elite series that they do, as well as the Spectres. They've been doing this a lot too. Uh, you see the power button here on the side to disable the monitor and turn it on and off. At the bottom here, you have actually four buttons to control the display, including brightness and different aspects of the contrast and other features, including different display modes. And not a big surprise, on the right-hand side, we have the USB Type-C port. And again, this is USB Type-C, not Thunderbolt. You don't need Thunderbolt to make this run. Any Type-C system that's powerful enough to run it can connect up to it. And they do give you a pretty long USB Type-C cable in the box. Turn to the back of the display of HP's new logo, which is really nice. It's a little bit mirrored finish. This is a all metal design, and it's uh, you can feel though it's a very thin metal. In fact, if you press really hard, you can feel sort of the glue and the components behind the display. That's not saying it's bad or anything like that. It just they're doing it to save weight, but the frame and the back of it feel pretty solid. Now, the Zen screen actually had the folio covering the back, which in a way is kind of nice too, because it does protect, this could get scuffed. You can see it does pick up grease pretty easily. On the other hand, they save on the device's weight and it being thinner. I actually like the HP design in the end in terms of use. Okay, let's bring it all in. So I got to use the Elite Display while I was in Berlin for IFA 2018, and it really helped me a lot in the hotel room. I use it with the Surface Book 2, but I also use it with the Surface Go, and it just worked very well. I really like the matte display here. I'm a huge fan of that. It's just easier to look at. I also really like that 14 inch size, like I said, compared to the Zen screen at 15.6 inch. This just fit my bag a lot easier. It was more manageable. I also found the kickstand to be a lot more sturdy than the Zen screen, although there is only one fixed position, which you know for some people may not be as good. But I think the compromise here for its extreme portability is very good. Now, I do want to point out, if you do graphic design and photo editing or video editing, this may not be the best solution for you. After all, the colors are a little washed out compared to something even like the Surface Go. And that's just part of the trade-off here with a portable display. They're not going to be quite as good as, say, your big 27-inch one at home. Another thing I want to point out is that this is not a touchscreen, nor does it support pen, obviously. The only reason I point that out is because Asus did show off its new Zen screen that's coming out later this year, which is touch and does support pen. That's a really interesting proposition. I'd love to see HP get in on that action too. That obviously opens the device up to a lot more possibilities, but for now, if you're looking for that, this is not going to be your display. Now, it does cost $219, and depending how you feel about that, that's either very good or very expensive. But I think for people who need productivity on a go, especially if you're using something like the Surface Go, which is a obviously smaller 10-inch screen, this will help you use that device for a much longer time. 
But in terms of value, it's overall build quality and its use in my case, I'm very happy with the Elite Display S14 and I can give it a high recommendation. All right, so that's a quick review of the Elite Display S14 from HP. Now, if you want more information about this device, make sure you go to the description below. And as always, give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Take care, everyone.